name is Royal Danny. I'm a third degree black belt in an Israeli self-defense system called Krav Maga. In Hebrew, the word Krav Maga means contact, combat. My name is Gaston Sanford. I'm a student here at Krav Maga LA. I've been doing this for about a year and a half. Krav Maga focuses on the weak spots of the body. A soft spot, but you can't make it strong. You can't train it. For example, the eyes, the nose, throat, or even the groin. No matter how big they are, if you kick or punch in that spot, it's going to give you results immediately. Krav Maga is different and unique and special in the fact that it can be taught to anybody, anywhere, no matter what age, no matter what size. And it really teaches you that size and strength doesn't matter. It's more of what you know and your technique and how you do it in the streets and that basically anybody can defend themselves. Why learn Krav Maga? Well, first of all, it might save your life. And second of all, it's gonna get you in shape by learning and kicking and punching and learning how to defend yourself. Krav Maga builds confidence. Men do it, women do it, even kids do it. First and foremost, for most people, it's an unbelievable workout. It's great fitness, and not only that, it builds mental toughness. It also builds strong character because you're pushing your body and your mental limits every single day, and it really, you know, your self-confidence gets boosts, your morale gets boosts, your character, your instincts are sharper. I walked into this place passing out a menu for my food truck, and uh, funny enough, I saw what was going on, and. You got me like that, first class. This one's not for competition. It's not set up to learn for points, for this or that. This is really to get you out of a situation if you're in one. Funny story, I found it online on YouTube on the like, deadliest fight. That's how I found Sensei Roy. And then I'm like, check it out and tried one class and I got hooked. For me, it teaches body strength, self-confidence, and just, you know, be prepared for the unexpected. I learned it from a lot of online research from fighting styles on the world. Um, I chose this particular one just because it's, uh, it's brutal nature and it's, uh, it's more realistic. It's more uh, street uh, orientated than you know, typical martial arts. Definitely big, big confidence booster. Not that I think I can kick everybody's butt, but a lot more confident when I'm by myself going to and from car to work. Definitely I do get like a lot of strength training and I'm a lot more conditioned than I've normally been in the past. Um, it makes me feel very physically fit, and um, it does give you a confidence, definitely. Krav Maga is not a martial art. It is a survival system, a system that is constantly being updated and improved every day. We learn from real life experiences that we can find on YouTube, on television, on the news, anything that we can find and get research from, we use that. It's in your face, it's intense, it's basically one, two, three, get the job done in as few steps as possible. You know, get your opponent to the ground and make them beg for mercy, make them regret everything that they even thought about doing to you or your loved ones. Krav Maga. There's no rules. We teach you in Krav Maga, you throw a chair at your opponent, your attacker, that's Krav Maga. You, use, you put a key in your fist, and you use it against him, that's Krav Maga. Anything you could use to help you to survive, that is Krav Maga. But in the martial arts, that's a controlled environment. You have rules, there are things that are allowed, there are things that are not allowed. In the street, anything goes. This is 10 luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% reason to remember the name.